Approaching the four year anniversary of the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German in Delphi. One week from today marks four years since the girls' bodies were found. Well, the family still have no answer as to who is responsible for the tragedy, but they continue to hope and to channel their grief into something positive. News 18's Anna Darling spoke with family members and reached out to investigators for the latest on the case. Anna? Frustration, hope patience. These are all emotions the families of Abby and Libby are feeling as we come up on another year without justice. Just like it will take the community to help solve the case, it's also taken the community to help keep the legacy of the girls alive and turn sorrow into something beautiful. It's frustrating. Unfortunately, it is really sad that we have had to wait this long. Another 365 days are about to come and go with still no answers as to who murdered teenagers Abigail Williams and Liberty German. If I say something to somebody about it and they're like, what year is coming up? I'm like, four. They're four already four and, and it doesn't seem possible because it feels like yesterday. On February 13th, 2017, Abby and Libby went missing while walking on the Monon High Bridge. Their bodies were found the next day. It's been two years since investigators released this updated sketch of the suspect. Along with video and audio, Libby bravely recorded on her phone. We'd much rather be going to the ball game and watching the girls and going to band concerts and stuff. Watching them go to the prom, just all the things, you know, that, that was robbed. That, that was taken away from them. This would have been the girls' senior year at Delphi Community High School. Their fellow 2021 classmates made sure they were not forgotten by painting a parking spot in their honor. It's really cool to watch her friends all graduate and come out here and visit her. Um, and all of the awesome things they're doing and are going to do. Um, but it's bittersweet knowing that she doesn't get to do that with them. Libby's older sister, Kelsey, regularly visits her resting spot, bringing along one of their favorite treats to share. We would always go after school and get a small fry and a large sweet tea. It's where I feel closest to her. Enjoy her presence and we can talk or I can talk and she can listen. I asked Abby's mom, Anna Williams, if she would also like to meet at Abby's grave, but she politely declined to preserve her privacy. It's like your own home or her room. I'm like, that belongs to me. Somebody out there knows what happened and what they did to our children. And I'll be damned if he gets to see her room or any of that personal space. No investigators from the Indiana State Police are talking with the media this year about the case. They said in a statement that, quote, we continue to actively investigate all tips and leads we receive by phone and email. This type of violent crime cannot and will not go unanswered. We don't have an arrest. We don't have a conviction. Um, the investigators are continually working on this. They haven't stopped. ISP's definition of a cold case is when five years have passed with no new tips or leads. With tips being received daily, ISP says this is far from being considered a cold case investigation. Even if they catch the guy tomorrow, and even if we know and and pray to God that this does not happen to another family, the girls still aren't going to be here. And that is bottom line. As the families deal with yet another year of grief over their loss, they're turning that grief into something positive with the Abby and Libby Memorial Park. A playground, amphitheater, trees, picnic shelters, and the softball diamonds have all been installed over the past few months. Two wind chimes sing into the cold air by the amphitheater, always reminding those who come of the reason for the park. These girls, our families, our community, everybody around the state, we all deserve justice. Just like this park, it's taken a community to build it. We need a community of the state to help us get this case solved as well. They are also hosting their annual food drive at the Delphi United Methodist Church on Friday and Saturday. The girls would have supported a food drive and a pet food drive pandemic or not, and now we've seen the need is very great here. The families are asking the community to come forward with any information they may have. Law enforcement has always emphasizes that they, they may only be short one, one piece of evidence or one tip. And to keep their hope, faith, and patience strong. We're going to get answers. If he's out there, we're going to find him. We just have to keep that faith and that hope and keep praying. 
A special thank you to the families for being willing to talk with me about their loss. Their goal is to have the park completed in time for softball season this spring. And as the family said, no piece of information is too insignificant when it comes to this case. If you have any information to share about the murder of Abby and Libby, please reach out to investigators. If you take a look at your screen, the email is abbyandlibbytip at cacoshrf.com or you can call 844-459-5786. Anna Darling, News 18.